Hi, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam. Here with the 56th. 56th. That's a hard number to say. 56th. 56th. That one. Episode. <laughs> session. Whatever. Underland Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition campaign. Uh, that's Austin. Uh, he's playing Eric. Uh, if you don't remember, Ryan, you're playing the role of Henwick. Uh, Bob, you can be Cowden today, and uh, why don't you take on Jimmy? Then? Can I change my name to Squeakers McGee? No! <laughs> you can't change it now! We're 56 sessions in! So you can't change how the 56 sessions? <laughs> nope. No, wouldn't he change his name to Argyle? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Angus. Angus? Angus, Angus yeah. Angus, Angus with five. Yes, that's exactly what you'd change it. Uh, let's see, last time y'all trudged through Stygia, fought a tribe of frost giants uh, to clear your way to the coast. I feel like it's a bit generous tribe. There's like six of them. Yeah. I mean, that's like a pack of frost giants. Well, how many people make some tribe? Murder of frost I giants? I at least ten. I, I think... <laughs> and are you families? <laughs> like, it doesn't... The numbers don't matter so much as long as you keep it under 30, but I think three families is a tribe. Otherwise, it's a clan. Us. Well, clans are much bigger, like, like dwarven clans. No. Anyways, um... Dwarves are just wrong. Then is it, is it <laughs> the dwarves are right the reason you chose to fight them? Well... <laughs> There's a difference between the character and the person. Oh, I okay. can speak. And don't worship a lady who is not the god that I actually <laughs> worship. <laughs> and these things do happen. Uh, Henwick's Tyrannosaurus Rex finally died. Um, rip, and then you replaced them with Frost Giants. Um, <laughs> or at least they're going to. Yeah, he's working on. Um, you looted furs and fat from a mammoth corpse. Um, and you're headed towards the frozen coast here. Yes. Which really, you know, once it gets frozen enough, it's just more land. Okay. But there is water out there, so we're heading for that. So you reach the part of the coast that is frozen, uh, and, and you find yourself having to almost like climb and clamber over sections of it where literal waves froze in action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I continue to keep an eye on my armor and weapons and like all of my magical equipment to make sure it's not going bad enough so I call halt you, so that I can... You've re- you just recently replaced all the furs with new furs as those were freezing and breaking apart. New disposable I, I just wanted to make sure that it was out there that I am keeping an eye on my equipment because I really can't afford to lose this armor it's half of my character. The other half is whispering to a rock. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a lot of depth here. Did you, <laughs> didn't you get that armor from the water lady? Yes, I did. So, go get it again. I can't. I don't have anything to barter with. You got rid of her. Yeah, g- bring her back in for more no, armor. Ryan got rid of her. Yeah, I yeah. got rid of her. He's still I'm magical. still stuck with her. Yeah, he's still magical. Oh, there you go. Well, I could get more armor. But then you're going to make me go on a stupid adventure to earn it or something. You're going to be like, hey, I'm your armor broke. I, I want you more armor. armor. I gave it to a dragon. We'd it's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Another thing, as far as getting it from her, the reason she was able to give it is because she happened to have it in the bottom of her lake. That's a good point. <laughs> dust of dryness? Just flounder her whole lake? I do have just dust. plunder it? I feel like the godlike being might have checked. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yes, you clamber across the ice... Frozen uh, shores. Reminder during our daily uh, inspirational talk meetings. You haven't gotten to that. Well, it been a day. I, we do it at the beginning of the day, though. Yeah, this okay. is still the same day as the battle. Okay. Well, just as a reminder, everybody has. It's water on your breathing. pants. <laughs> oh, there you go. I was like, it disappeared. Everyone has water breathing. Yeah, water breathing. Well, don't we still have water breathing? Wait, yeah, you still do from when you did it before. Hmm? Oh, okay. Yeah, didn't, hadn't you done it this? That's why I say this morning I cast water breathing. It's a reminder. reminder. Yeah. yeah. This is a reminder, so everybody has water breathing. Yes. Neat. 
Which it should. We're diving into the deepness of the ocean. Well, we have to stop and, and cover water. ourselves with fat first. Oh, yeah. We'll put the boat out there and, you know, uh, grease up. Uh, say we're going to find the entrance to the next layer first. Well, the entrance is underneath the water, is yeah. what she said. Yeah. I realize that. Just don't go jump into the water immediately when you oh, get no. there. <laughs> oh, no. That's we're we're going to get on the boat first. <laughs> uh, I need to, uh... The... Well, air can. Let's see. What we had as far as the actual... Or limerick or whatever yeah. it is. Or, 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 memory. Um, mm-hmm. Crushing depths beyond the icebergs. Malbolge. Yeah, reaching the crushing depths leads to my word. Let's go beyond the icebergs. Yeah. <laughs> so then, yeah, after some time walking across the ice, you reach where the ice is broken and cracked, and not far out you do see definitely what these icebergs are, just large large floating chunks of ice. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> is, are they bigger on the bottom part than not? You're not, a, you're not below them, you can't tell. Uh, they could be flat. Turn to cannon. It's, uh, so we gotta get past those icebergs and just hit open water, then go down. Is what I'm understanding from your memory. Now, <laughs> she's like, yeah, yeah. Can she turn a boat into a submarine? No. Uh, That's a, that would have been a cool power to have. How, how, how well can you control the boat? If we fill it with rocks, can you pilot it underwater? Since we all can breathe the water. Why, though? To make it into a submarine. But why, though? Where are you getting the rocks? Uh, fill it with water. <laughs> That's just sinking the boat. You're just, you're just sinking the boat. <laughs> yeah, but then could she control it while it's underwater? Not necessarily. Oh. I might be able to get it back above water. Well, I might have to try that. Or we could just take the water breathing and dive into the water. Yeah, but it'd be a lot cooler if we used the boat. Uh, yeah, yeah. It'd be much your, better your on the Your ability to repair the boat. Would you be able to repair the boat after we put a hole in it to fill it with water? And I put a hole in my magic boat. <laughs> and he's like, uh, "What would your suggestion for filling it with water be?" Why not are we filling, filling it with, with water? water? <laughs> I was going to use a bucket. <laughs> There's a hole in the bucket. Oh no, no, we can use Eric. He has the dust of dryness. That'll fill the boat with water. Oh yeah, were you getting? Well, we're not at the water yet. We're still on ice. You're at the water. The ice is broken here. You're at the edge. Finally, <laughs> yes. I grab myself a pellet of stygia water. Also, the dust dry the dryness. Throw it, get a pill, throw it back out, get water. Do you get the dust back after that second one? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is consumable. Yeah, we could use the dust of dryness to fill the boat with water and sink it. Officially speaking, the ship doesn't sink even if its hull is breached. <laughs> well, there you go. So it doesn't matter. Okay. It's like, I don't think you can sink my boat while I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's completely full of water. Well, it's still above the water line <laughs> because <laughs> magic. <laughs> so, what are you going to despawn the boat when we're about to jump in, or get into the water and despawn it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just put it back in my pocket. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just wondering what the uh, order of operations we're dealing with here. Uh, so you take out the magic boat once we're out. Uh, you know, so do you swim out first, or do you? Whoa, well, let's not get off the boat here. We're not on, not on the boat, and he's saying he's not putting the boat in the water, so try to figure out what you're doing. Oh, okay. My imagination is these icebergs are really close together and couldn't fit a boat between them. Like, there's barely any room we can barely get to the water, and we're walking over icebergs till we hit ocean. Is that mm-hmm. not? Well, two things. Once you actually get to ocean, that's the area you, you, you go under. Yes. Um... But, I mean, yes, the, there's ice that is all close together. Uh, it's not necessarily easy to tell what is just surface ice floating on top and what are actual icebergs. Okay, so can we, we s- walk past the icebergs or do we need to swim past the icebergs? Well, I mean, to try and walk past them, you'd have to try and balance on, you know, wobbly, broken oh, no, chunks I, of ice. I, I've, I've got experiences. The trick is to go under where there's no ice. How far away is the iceberg from where we're at? Um, they are presumably here. But yeah, you're basically at a broken edge of 
a sheet of ice. There is broken, shattered ice ahead of you, and it gets bigger as it goes. Well, yeah, we'll put in the long coat and cram in and push ourselves along. Okay. The boat starts to freeze. Yes. Does Cannon counteract that enough to where it's not bad? If not, I put the boat away. Um, it's not sinking. Um, but the ice is starting to encroach. So... We'll put the torches near it. <laughs> okay. If I stood at the bow of the boat, used my little uh, rod of rope, and grappled onto a... Uh, what citizen? 300 feet... 300 feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and grappled onto it. Could I then reel in uh, the boat with everything else so that it would increase the speed of the boat? Can you jet ski the boat backwards? You can certainly try. <laughs> Not pushing it further away, but pulling us towards yeah. where we want to go. Not backwards. That would be going forwards. As in the boat's pulling the thing. Never mind. It works. You would go forward. <laughs> You go more forward than the iceberg come toward comes towards you. But yes. a little bit of both happen. Well, yeah, that's physics. You standing up pushes the earth away. <laughs> it's just a really, really little bit. <laughs> you can tell more because uh, the force it has against the ice uh, chunks around it. Okay. And after each time I do that, uh, I check it, make sure that it's not frosty. After the first time, do I check it and make sure it's not damaged? I'll be nice and let you do a smithing intelligence check. Clearly it's not smith, but... Natural one, so... No, it's, it's perfectly fine. Uh, so it's a uh, six... Yeah, seven, eight. Eight would be what I rolled down with that. Alright, I try it again. Check it again. And it's like, yeah, I would figure fine. just warm it up after each Still time. Still seems fine. What? Still seems fine. Alright. Yeah, I go again and check it again. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is your, your goal here? Make what? sure that there's no damage to it. What is your goal with pulling yourself towards the iceberg? To go there faster? We go to Iceberg, help on other Iceberg, and keep navigating our way through Iceberg Pass. After about three of them, Cannon will sort of let you know, it might be more efficient if I just go between them. <laughs> well, I would assume we're not going straight to one. We're picking one off in the distance and dragging her away, then picking a different one and dragging her away. But you're basically having to zigzag up to one, and then you have to go at kind of an angle to avoid running into that one, yeah. and then you have to go at another steep angle to avoid running into that one. <laughs> oh, that's a really stupid way to do it. I figured I was attaching on angles, so I was pointing up to the side and then pulling off. You're like, it takes you're, you straight you're, to it. It doesn't take you at an angle from it. it yeah, but from where I uh, latch on it would... You also notice that uh, speeds through chunks of ice might be causing damage. You, there, you absolutely notice that the hall is breached right now. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> okay, so I put the thing away. Uh, but at a little bit slower pace, moving chunks of ice out of the way, mm-hmm. she is able to get you out without you know, issues. <laughs> making problems where I didn't bother to make any. <laughs> well... And solving those problems. Well, no. The <laughs> thing is, is that you didn't say anything about, oh, there's huge clanking noises of you ramming ice out of your way. I thought I was doing this with clear water. That the ice first were the no, bigger problem. Once, once you get to the clear water, you're... you're yeah, done. yeah, yeah you, you, this was poorly described, I feel. Edge of broken ice, chunks of broken ice, icebergs beyond. Poorly described. <laughs> it's not the complicated. It's laid out almost exactly like a regular frozen lotion. Frozen lotion. Just like a regular one. I mean, if I get that in B form, I'm okay with it. <laughs> as far as you know. <laughs> so we get past the icebergs? Yes. We take out our fats and start warming it up. Torches mm-hmm. and Rubbing ourselves down. 
Yeah, go ahead and pack Hot up all of my armor. cup of pig fat. Of mammoth, mammoth fat. fat. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pack up all of my armor. Mm -hmm. And then take some furs and rub the bag in fat, and then the furs in fat, and then seal the furs like, in the bag. Oh, this was to protect us. I, th I thought this was keeping our equipment safe. <laughs> Isn't your bag, like, a magic... Well, I guess, yeah, because you're, you're trying to... Not damage my equipment, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're over the area? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're out beyond the ice. Mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, Cannon and then relays I'm to us that this is about the right area for where she thinks the uh, entrance to the next layer is. I, I think it's just down. Icebergs? Once you hit crushing depths, you transfer over. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will pull out my... Uh, Manta ray cloak and, and everyone rope. Well, are we out past the icebergs now? Yes. yes. We're about to dive in the water. So you're okay. saying there's not enough grease to both grease myself up and the equipment bag? There's plenty of grease, man. You took it grease from a mammoth. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of figured there was. I didn't know why you were saying that. Yeah. I'm just making jokes, man. I'm just, just, just joking. Making jokes. Okay. Well, if we're, we're above the area, I'm going to scout ahead. How about we just get in the water and go down? So you're thinking sharks or faggots? Mm -hmm. See, you want to jump into the water without looking. Well, that's more that's that's, mm -hmm. that's that's more of an Eric thing to do. Well, I mean, I figure, you know... Well, yeah. Cool. Well, you guys go ahead. Alright. He takes the boat with him, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can fly on a bird. That'll be slowly oh, please, damaged. please fly in a <laughs> Can the broom fly underwater? This is suddenly topical. You could certainly try. Well, I'm not going to. It's like, I might lose this cloak, but it'll be a good use for it to go straight down. It breaks halfway, you die. Anyway. But it just seemed like we'd be spending more time out here in the badness while you... What, arcane eye? It's an action. Oh. It's you. We kind of figured it would take ten plus minutes. It's an action. Okay. Yeah, I cast arcane eye and have it scout underwater for us. For how long? Thirty feet a turn? Yeah, it moves at thirty feet a turn and can be up to an hour. So not ten minutes, an hour. Okay. It's water. And is that all we see? Frozen. How long do you? How long do you? Uh, look around, see if I can find the supposed entrance. <laughs> this it, goes it, down. I'll lose connection if it passes to a different place. Plane. Um. What's the actual spell? Arcane I? Yeah, Arcane I. Well, after, like, I don't know, five rounds, I'm just going to go down and start trying to see what's at the bottom. I don't think I'm faster in water than the Archaeonic, so it's got a lead on me. Yeah, I imagine five rounds is about as long as I'd wait. 30 seconds? Yeah. Well, did you get the info? No? Okay! <laughs> Yeah, it just it, it keeps going. It's just down, down, down. Yeah, I'm saying not seeing the entrance. Again, I think it's just at a certain death level we transfer over. So we need to get in there now and get down there. <laughs> is that right, Cannon? Is it just we go down? She told us all she knows. <laughs> it is that phrase. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cannon is not very helpful except for keeping my boat up bot safe. <laughs> As it does just sit, it, it's slowly healing itself back. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, everyone right? A little discolored still from the cold. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah, cause, well, yeah, cold's getting a little blue. <laughs> catching the cold. <laughs> it's actually getting a little blackened from the cold, but... Your boat has frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going with it. Yes, it does. Uh, On second thought, absolutely. Everyone's greased up. Spooch. Does the grease make you go faster in the water? 
you know, it just keeps the cold, cold water between a layer of grease and you. Would it give you advantage on escaping a grapple in water? Probably. But you, you would have to have someone try to grapple you to know for sure. That is probably one thing that you noticed. Hmm. Nothing living. Nothing living. No fish, no nothing. Nothing living. Well, when Eric jumps in, does he immediately die? No. Okay. So there's, <laughs> there's nothing living in the area, so at least we don't have... It's cold, even for you, though. Hmm. Okay, so we dive in and swim Plus down. That's what for, right? Mm. I love that you bothered to use the grease. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, everyone else is doing it. <laughs> I also greased up. You well, don't have a resistance to cold. Yeah, I also greased up though. Yeah. <laughs> I just want it known. I'm greasy. <laughs> I'm uh, this greasy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Old character, he's great. <laughs> he's a firefighter. <laughs> and so many other things. <laughs> he had name tags to prove. Can't deny that. So did people just assume Greasy was a special needs hire? Yes. <laughs> also, Greasy was huge. And <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to tell him no. I'm not going to tell him no. <laughs> it's an ogre. <laughs> he's big, he's harmless, just let him be. He's in the restricted area, let him be. Uh, I guess when we get into the water, I'm going to cast... Uh, Death saving throw. <laughs> Eric, Eric didn't immediately die because he has cold resistance. <laughs> I cast polymorph on myself and turn into a killer whale. Those are both water and arctic. How, how, how stupid are you? I don't believe killer whales are, is it? Yeah, killer whale's an actual animal. Of course it's <laughs> an actual it's an actual animal in the book. <laughs> uh, 331. Thank you. Yeah, no, killer whale. Yeah, ah, not as <laughs> Yeah, I forget as much. Let's see here. Hold well, breath for 30 minutes. Oh, uh, no, well, you still got the magic. Blind, right? blind sight, okay. Oh. Echo location. Yep. I mean, they're smart enough to, like, you know, Super perform big major tactics and stuff. But then again, maybe D and D killer whales are stupid. <laughs> Can I free roll this thing? Free intelligence. I'm gonna so grab yeah, onto the generic, uh, generic fin. animal intelligence. What's the swim speed on that? Sixty. Hmm. Yeah. But three is enough for him to know the basic <laughs> concept of what he was up to. <laughs> I help. I also become a killer whale. Do you also have polymorph? Or? It is my. Uh, Shaper of flesh ability. Yeah, sculptor of flesh. I feel like it's not something you've done before, so. <laughs> Again, I have so many warlock tag on abilities that I never use. Let's go along with mm -hmm. <laughs> You guys are killer whales and you're going down. Mm -hmm. I could I'm also be a killer whale if I wanted to. I'm <laughs> just, <laughs> just, do you have Baltimore for use? A group yes, yeah, No, remember he turned into a moth when running from the <laughs> vampire. <laughs> yes, we're just a that is smart. <laughs> I'm going to hold on to his fin and hold on to cannon, and also have her squished in such a way that it, it forces my stuff to be held onto as well. The stuff is also roped to me, but I'm not trusting the rope not to break, so I'm holding on to her mm -hmm. to it. Also, the rope is also greased. But time to me. You, you lose. You just slipped right away. <laughs> <laughs> you lose grip on it. Tied and such. Tied before greased. Yes. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> the grease makes the knot uncomfortable. That's, no, that's why. That's why, it's, that's why you tie it first. So the grease isn't inside the knot. It's around the knot. The grease is actually a low acting acid that eats. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> the <Man laughs> grease has the worst properties. <laughs> That's why man, you only see skeletons. They just eventually, one day, the like, bat consumes everything. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have stomach acid. I would be melting in, from the inside if I had stomach acid. <laughs> that side is trying to make fun of you. Them in amino acids? I don't have acids in my body. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> 
No one says that. <laughs> you no one has wrong. ever said that. No one has ever said that. <laughs> Oh, what a world you live in where you believe no one has seriously and fiercely debated that's the truth. Uh, we have a flat Earth society existing. Let's not. No, we really don't. We, ha- we have a sarcastic group that likes to tell jokes. Oh no, they're very serious. I met a guy at work who's dead Sarcasm. serious about it. Oh man, remember the crop circles guy, the or the whatever the chemtrails guy? Yeah, we got one of them. <laughs> Yeah, he was, he was getting gang stalked. Gang stalked by like the oh, world. Up. Everyone was. Yeah, he was. We we were his friends until we didn't do what he wanted. Then we were in on the conspiracy. Oh. I was fine to be in on the conspiracy. <laughs> it was funnier that way. Who is this? Your customer. <laughs> Crazy people with computers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, customer, he wanted our services, and we were his friend. We were fixing his computer, but when our fix didn't do what he wanted, we were now part of the conspiracy against him. Was he one of the ones where the startup has little flashing lines like that's the government people yes. logging into it? Yes, yes, that was exactly his problem. Why else would there be a little flashing icon there? That was exactly his problem. Didn't you just deactivate the light? No, no, no. it's not. It's not deactivate. It's the the cursor that in the older windows, like when it was you know telling running a system file to boot up Windows, it was that. It was booting Windows. We got off topic as I'm looking up frigid water rules. Yes. And the con for Morenoliths. <laughs> I don't know. If Austin thinks she's getting bad enough, he can always cast Polymorph on her and make her kill her whale. <laughs> Why doesn't the month's manual have an entry for walruses? They're not very movable. I mean, there are other immovable creatures, but... <laughs> And be a big old blubber man. <sighs> All right. What are you? Do you have your core whale pulled up still? Yeah. What's your con? Uh, thirteen. Okay. Do they have any cold resistance or anything? No. No. They should. But yeah. <laughs> but they don't. Whales, they don't do good with frigid water. What about polar bears? Don't they have cold resistance? Uh, I think they're a natural animal and nothing gets that. <laughs> oh, wait. Huge polar bear. Here we go. Uh, keen smell. No, no cold resistance. But they got 16 con. Probably should have gone with So do you. Bear. Mm-hmm. So do you. Yeah. <laughs> so, you go down Top 10 minutes, house. 15 minutes. We're going faster, though, because some of us are holding on to the whales. Yeah. It's like everyone's moving at 60 feet. <laughs> no, we're. Uh, I guess you three, or you three and Canada are a group. And then well, Eric is swimming down. I, I would have figured Ludegar and Eric would have held on to me. Ludegar is swimming down. It's like, yeah, just hold well, up. I left, like, a minute before you guys. Yeah, we would have caught up. And Probably. I, would have, I, don't, I don't have a fast swim speed. Yeah. You're, you're being chased down by killer whales. I said they're not they're with they're initiatives. Not speak with animals. <laughs> because of your ring. I have a ring of animal friendship. <laughs> that he's very specifically kept on during this entire first uh-huh. trip. Ha! You knew it was going to come in handy. Yes. Also, by the way, without that, you wouldn't be able to talk to him. Yes. It's like Eric swim down. Well, like, swim well, down well, faster. No, that's what I was doing. Yes. No, 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 the no, worst part is, is that he's like, well, of course the animals know who I am. I'm Eric Rastrowski. Hey, adventurer. This isn't a special whale. This is this is this is, this is his fame within the whale kingdom. <laughs> Yes, clearly. I, I just keep nudging you down and trying to get you to grab on. <laughs> That's like, well, appreciate the help, Gustavo companion. Mm-hmm. Wish I had other adventuring companions who are so steadfast. <laughs> they, they surely seem, have fallen behind. They seem reticent to enjoy the wonders of this great sea. Now, 
Granted, I am his hype man, so I'm okay with it. But now this stuff was Eric speaking at me during this entire trip down through the water. That no one else can hear, blessedly. Ryan can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just making whale noises at you. Oh, what adventure Make a con save. You too. Me? Nope. Throw your trained uh, ones, you six. Yeah. Really? It's trained. Yeah, five. Plus two. The uh, con one is five. isn't that a plus seven? Yeah, I had a nine. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I thought you had like a thirteen. No. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Nick was <laughs> trying to help. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Mind your business. He did a bad yeet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my game, my business. And two more. And Canon Ludgar. Uh, seventeen, and then thirteen. <laughs> So, you're swimming down relatively fast. Yeah, I don't even know to swim anymore. I can now focus entirely on telling this, uh, this uh, whale about how many adventures I've been on. And the last time he got carried by a whale, but that was a blue whale, not an orca whale. And, you know, he wrote in its mouth for a while because there was this dude he was looking for because of some toy. Yeah. Some toy. <laughs> that's so you're a now. <laughs> At, at some point, I do just keep thinking at you, Jimmy. <laughs> ah, yeah, that was his name. Young lad. <laughs> you must have passed him on your way down. <laughs> yeah, Young lad, eh? Yeah. In fancy dress? <laughs> mm-hmm. Not as far as I know. <laughs> no, he, he dressed like a boy. <laughs> um, and eventually you get... Beyond where it's just the cold that is bothering to some of you, and to the point where the pressure is pushing in on you. Oh, no pressure. Yes, oh, yeah, you're crushing, under- crushing depths. Yes. I don't have an investiture of water. Also, I'm just thinking how you could kill almost all of us. No, no, no. Thunderclap it has a push. It pushes all the water away from you. Then that cavitation bubble would kill us. <laughs> I mean, theoretically. <laughs> Everyone takes a level of exhaustion. I don't want to. Too bad. <laughs> but remember, water's heavy, so I mean, Thunderclap probably wouldn't push it very far. Hmm. The tiny cavitation bubble. Which would probably still kill everyone. And it also doesn't compress. Well, it doesn't like to compress. Well, that's why hydraulics work. It compresses it a little bit. Yeah, that's but that's why hydraulics work because it doesn't really compress. Mm-hmm. Everyone pushing on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no, it just stops. Like, ah, well, forget it. Let's point shift to home. Death's too scary. <laughs> Take another level of exhaustion. Okay. Two levels of down. exhaustion. Uh, this isn't the third that would start failing on getting saves minus. Hmm? We're now moving slower. Mm-hmm. How much slower? Half. So 30 feet now. Which is still a heck of a lot better than we would be doing it. Another voice time. comes in your head. Mm-hmm. The rest of yours, each unique, each and so on, and but in general, you're in trouble, aren't you? You're under my watch. I wouldn't want that. Mm. What? Can what? I help? I'd love to help. Uh, just request my help. Is it in my head? It's in your head. I start praying at it. Well, if it's no trouble. 
wouldn't want to cause you undue grief. No, no. You seek to go somewhere? Yes. We're going to whatever's below this. Fifth layer or six? Mount Bourgeois. That sounds correct. Yeah. We're on our way to see as motives. I can let you live to get there. Everyone take another level of exhaustion. That's four? Three. Three? Three now? Yes, now it's yeah. infecting our uh, ability for saves. I don't know, Ryan, turn back into a person and cast Magnificent Mansion so we can heal up our levels of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> right here. <laughs> There's advantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Mm hmm. I think you can cast as a whale. No, you'd have to turn back and then cast it. Mm. Yeah, whales don't have any innate spell casting abilities. <laughs> All I need is a promise you'll be back when your time's expired. I can get you beyond here. Promise to be back where? When all your flesh has dissolved and but a soul remains. And then go where? Uh, I just think one Come. month. <laughs> that is what my brain remembers. Ask for only a month. Come to my land. Come to my land. When the cold no longer inconveniences you. When it will be but a joy to be here. Another level of exhaustion. How far point maximum is half. Yep. Hit points are half. Okay. So how long how many cannon many slips from your grasp. You no. lost track of her. Keep grow keep hold of her. You can't find her. She's gone. How as in, she accepted whatever deal this was, and now it's gone. Oh, yeah, I'm not accepting it. I might have to make a new character, because I'm not accepting it. He's like, no, I refuse to be indebted to hell. <laughs> yeah. I will die in My hell before I go to hell. My soul just got a nice deal. <laughs> it's I not given up on its nice deal to come back here. You're pushing on downward? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Yeah. When I get around to it, I'll come back. Wonderful. Another level of exhaustion. Speed to zero. You're no longer pushing onward. <laughs> <laughs> Are we breaching equal buoyancy so we aren't sinking? Uh, you're no longer necessarily hearing from him. Uh, him? Her? Well, it's him. But oh. You're not sure. <laughs> Could have been either one. <laughs> you didn't see them. Nope, rather die, spend my one month in the first layer, however long that month will be, then pr make more promises to hell. I'm not selling my soul again. Oh, I, I figured I'd just lie. No. No, anyone else? Do you seek to live past this? Do you seek freedom? Take another level of exhaustion. I believe that kills us all. Yeah, that's death. So, you find yourself... Dead. <laughs> New campaign! <laughs> splashing down on... A slope. You, you, you fall onto rough rock side and you start tumbling really weird for the whales. Cannon uh, <laughs> <laughs> somewhere further down you can you can see as you as you flip up end over end um, that she is further down and uh, trying to catch on to rough bits of rock or whatever there might be, but failing. Um, She's I'm really gonna fail when the whales come. <laughs> how, how hard did I fall before I hit the ground? Uh, fifteen feet. Do we still have reaction? And then you hit reaction when you fall at least ten feet. And then you hit the ground, and you start tumbling down. Feather fall. I, I hit the ground softly. And start tumbling. It's at a, like a 75 degree angle. Wow. That's pretty steep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... It is a impossibly steep mountainside. Uh, now, uh, impossibly steep wouldn't be, you know, 75. It would be not 90, but 100. That's <laughs> impossibly steep. <laughs> For a mountainside, it's yeah. impossibly steep. <laughs> no, I still think 90 is as steep as you can get. <laughs> before it's no longer a slope. <laughs> uh, 
uh, along one. And some distance after you, Ludigar does the same a bit further up. Oh, uh, yeah, spider climb. You can't. We well, we're not paralyzed, right? No. Just zero no. speed. Uh, you have you have no levels of exhaustion. Ah, oh, neat. Uh, spider climb and. Oh, then... wait, wait, wait. If it's that steep, when I cast Featherfall, that's a first level spell. Which means I gain a 10 foot fly speed. Which is more than enough to find some proper footing. And slide down the style. Yeah, so you cast Featherfall? Yes. Uh, yeah, you slide. Uh, make an acrobatics check. I'll take it. Uh, doesn't Featherfall apply to m- more targets? So you can hit us with that. Eleven. Yeah, you just like stylishly for a little bit. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, until you trip and tumble again. Okay, can I start uh, running down the slope uh, to try and get Anna? Or is she moving, she moving faster than I can run? Yeah, she's moving faster than you can mm-hmm. run. Okay, whilst I'm doing that, I'm Hook trying to get my uh, grappling yeah. hook out. Well, then people get okay. on the whales. Um... I'm a whale. I have to have an obscene amount of hit points, and I'm just writing this out, being oh, very confused. We're feather falling right now. Well, just you feather fall and hit the ground, and it's good. Just the two of you, or well, it's everyone. It's five feet within reach. Within uh, range. So okay. So did you bother to target the whales? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I land on my belly and just start sliding down the thing. <laughs> so <laughs> hit a rock and. Tumble and roll sideways. <laughs> uh, how many actions does it take to get my hand inside of the bag? Because of how wrapped it is. Uh, do you care to keep those first? No. Two. Okay. If you're just discarding those as you go, then two. <laughs> okay. Am I able to get uh, the thing out in time to get down there? I'm well, running You do not see an end to this slope. Okay, as far well, as you can tell, it goes on forever. Okay, so I'm able to catch her eventually. Yes. But after a little bit. Everyone takes 10 damage. Hi, I'm running. And then you're tripping. No, I'm not. Oh, not, not th- yeah, this damage is a plot device. Alright? So you're, you're, you're spider climbing. You're just yes. going to take it. <laughs> yeah. uh, how much health does our whales have? 90. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's, l- that's less health than me. Well, yeah. Yeah, but then they have their health after it. Mm-hmm. That's 2 HP less than me. Yeah, it's like, I have 90, then another 20 of temp HP, then another 137. Yeah, you're a high-level character. You've got more than the CR3 beast. Mm-hmm. No, not by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Indeed, not by As a wise man once said, you roll the hit dice that they use for Monopoly. Monopoly. <laughs> so yeah, you go relatively short distance. And you said a couple actions to do that. You manage to grapple and pull her up. Do you then stop here, or...? Well, I get no, out of the ways, way of the whales, and I feel like that's really important. Okay. I make my concentration save. You also have to make okay. one. What? I don't care. No, no, I was trying to think... Does yeah. my, it's not a spell, technically, but it is. So. Yeah. It's a concentration spell, of course yeah. it is. <laughs> I didn't cast it using a slot. <laughs> okay, so whilst uh, I guess she's standing on me or something? I don't know. I find just somebody kind of holding her. Yeah, I, I uh, start going through the bag and start pulling out equipment and putting it on myself. Start so you're just letting your allies. Well, I'm walking down the slope still. <laughs> There's nothing I can do for them. Um, not too much further after he tumbles past you. Uh, Ludigar manages to fish out and sh- shove a pitten into the wall and <laughs> arrest his fall. Yeah. Okay. I have to just have a. Uh, uh, yeah, that's true. I can start grappling people. Grappling people who aren't freaking whales. <laughs> <laughs> you get pulled off the back of a whale. <laughs> I'm guessing you're having them come to you. Well, uh, I'm not going to pull him off because currently he's taking no damage because he's riding a whale. I took ten damage. You shouldn't. No. You're riding a back of a whale. The whale isn't going flat. The whale is tumbling end over end. <laughs> well, that's <some> terrible <laughs> positioning. <laughs> Probably should do more. So yeah, I'm grappling people as best I can, but not the whales. Well, if you grapple the whale, just turn turn back. 
I'm having fun. It kind of hurts, but yet it's exhilarating because I know this health's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a different one. <laughs> this is even my real body. It is my real form. That's the sort of poor decision making a three intelligence creature would make. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you understand the fun of being the Wonder Twins. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm so so plat gu- plat <laughs> Eventually, the fall will kill me, and then I'll take out my flying broom. I also pull out the flying broom. I hand it to one of them yeah. so they can sit on yeah. something and I don't have to hold a thousand people. Yeah. Can you have your own broom, don't you? In, a, in my hole. Which I mean, that would take a while to set up on a. No, no, I don't. I don't think it can be in your hole. No, a flying broom can. But but you had money in your hole. I no, no, we, we dug out a thing. And oh, put you it gave in. money to others to. <laughs> Why well, I ended up doing that anyway? Because he wanted a bunch of gems. Okay. Yeah. No, and it and remember, my broom's in there too, <laughs> because we didn't want it taking the water. I could definitely fit a couple small items in there. I think a stick will fit, especially because most of the empty space is going to be coinage. Okay, so, so I grab as many people as I can. Well, if you don't want to grab the whales, they're still following. I can't grab the whales. They're whales. Uh, you, you could you, grab them. Yeah, if you grapple me, I'll turn back. Or will you? you? You don't have any way to know that, though. I grapple onto the whale after I get everyone situated on brooms so that I can go and get him. All right, which whale do you grapple? I don't... Yeah. I, I, Other six I, I, for us. It's not how that get works. That one. Get that, that one. one. Get that one. He's a nice one. I, they be that one. He's unlucky. <laughs> the whales. I can't tell the difference. I grappled him. According to my dice. Yeah. You I, just pull him down. I suppose. Uh, it, it, does it even keep on to me? Do I feel tug? Um. You have a, a big grappling hook. Attached. Grappling hat grab into your flesh. You took damage, technically. Yeah. Well, come along, whale friend. I technically succeed, but I'll choose to fail that. You're you not using this to fail. To fail. Yes. Well, the damage made me think, ow, oh, I'll drop concentration. <laughs> now I'm the people again. And that, do I want it to continue to be pulled onto you, or do you now have to scramble to grab the rope, since the whale form disappeared, and you're much smaller? Well, once... Uh, it, you know, isn't hooked on, I pull out an eldritch pickaxe and, you know, dig my way into there. So I grapple him enough, his curve enough that he can yeah, pickaxe himself Yeah, basically you yank him back a little bit, and as he stumbles and becomes person, he, yeah. So okay, then I pick, uh, grab the other one. Alright, I drop concentration when he grabs me. Okay. Feather fall. You're, you're not falling more than ten feet. Okay. Okay, so you're trying to grab the rope? Yeah. Um, I'll say make a uh, straight dex check. Okay. That's a great sign. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's better. 17. Did you just lock a point? Yep. Well, that's enough to get it then. And so, yeah. <laughs> as you tumble and do a spin as you become you, <laughs> you like lunge fall fo- like forward and grab onto it. Yeah, and retract button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pull back up. I'm here. So, you got his little grouping, the little guy short way below him, holding on by a pitten, and then a ways down. There's you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cam's just sitting up there on a broom. Yeah. Whip out and try to get my broom out of the hole. So you, so you get your broom out. Right. The rest of your pick sword climbing up there. <laughs> this was a normal sword; it would be damaged. Get, but <laughs> as I walk, as I walk past him carrying him, <laughs> now he's on a broom. I just walk back to the pick up Jimmy. <laughs> And so we got a cannon on a broom. I'm on a broom. Uh, who, who, I guess we'll go and pick up Ludigar. Mm-hmm. Put, put him on the broom. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
and we have to and rearrange people after we get everyone in uh, like hell. Well, well, we need to get Eric his shoes on. <laughs> Well, that's all in the hole, and I'm yeah. not sure how to apply a hole to a 70 degree incline. I'm just Especially saying. when you have a bunch of coins in it, you don't want it to spill out. Well, gravity's always down in his hole. I, uh, it wouldn't spill out. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> well, I, grab my, I grab my rock. No, because that was the reason that he could put it on the yeah. ceiling and everything would pour out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I grab my rock from my bag and put it on. Uh, I'll, I can hold Eric while he messes with his hole. I just I looked down. Well, I think the point is if he puts it on a yes, slope like that. I I look down and say maybe we should take a twenty four hour break. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to the magnificent mansions. I mean, so do you guys want to rest now? I mean, I guess we're in a new place. Well, how do we get? How many more layers do we got? Three. Well, we're in Malboro Shade, then we've got Maladomini, and then we've got Kenya, and then well, we, have we all need to re-equip stuff. Yeah. And some of us, that's a very arduous process where armor can be spilling down hills. Yeah. You gotta go run after it. Well, we're, we're gonna go ahead and take a uh, break. I'll go ahead and um, uh, do uh, Morton Kenyon's Magnificent Mansion, but I'll go ahead and upcast it in my 8th level slot so we can get the forge out. Okay. I'm really glad I didn't get rid of spider climb. <laughs> I didn't think it would be useful because I had all of this equipment now that made it not useful. You always need that fallback. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, open up the portal to the mansion and then start shuffling people inside. Takes me one minute to cast that. Then I huck Jimmy in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In gather up the remaining stragglers once you have it cast and <laughs> yep. so does that actually enough. do anything for the mansion? Not not in real rules. Oh. The whole thing of me being able to furnish it with a forge for something that uh Yeah, because it gave mechanical benefit outside I <laughs> yep. ah, right. I was like, I didn't know there was cool things you could do with the mansion. <laughs> Just me. Yep. I don't want to eat my friends in water. <laughs> yeah, thank God. I was saying, that league totally lied. Hmm? She's like, give us your soul. I'm like, no. So do you um, go through things when you're there? Go through what? So you get in the hole. Yes. So you get, get out stuff, start putting on... Your magic items. Clothes, going yeah. through. Yeah, as you're... Big enough, I think you ended up wearing like furs and, and yeah, leathers. I wore a fur skirt, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you do find tucked in there um, a scroll. What's the scroll say? Uh, it is the sale of your soul with your signature at the bottom. Well, that's not legal. <laughs> <laughs> Does it burn? Never had a soul contract before, except that like one time. You know? I have one of those. <laughs> Looks like yes, a you lot do. of people are looking for wishes and miracles. <laughs> well, how how durable is this paper? What do you do? Well, it's, it doesn't burn, right? Oh, does it burn? Okay, so does it burn mean does it catch fire? Yes, does it yes. catch fire? Yeah, I don't catch fire. Do I get a new one? Uh, do you just let it burn away? Yeah. No. Oh. This that's, isn't legal. He's like, <laughs> uh, as it's burning, you do remember that when he got when he had one, he got a copy of the one that was signed. And it's like, well, I never received mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I think of your illegal contract. <laughs> Eat chaotic neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Are you strictly smarter than that? Not, not necessarily. No. <laughs> that, that's that's fine. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Now we got uh, that sorted. We can take a rest and get our cells uh, prepped for the next day. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go through equipment and check everything for damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kaladin, I will need your assistance. 
Nothing seems long term damaged. There's some things you have to, you know, that have like buckles and straps you replace. Yeah, exactly. Like, 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 yeah, smaller things, but nothing's nothing is something you can't, you know, repair for the most part right here with the scraps of cloth or whatever that you have access. I put the boat in the pool and put cannon on it. <laughs> <laughs> Your boat's fine. <laughs> She does find it condescending. <laughs> I also ask her what she know about this layer, but evidently it's a big cliff you fall down forever. That's the joke. I believe there's some sort of fortress or city here. Um, oh, I go put my boots on the beach. Caves, perhaps? Although I don't know if they ever went anywhere. They, they need 12 hours of charging. But, uh, I mean, I don't really know the way down. In my recollection, it just happened. Well, guess we just go down. Whee! Yeah, we have to redistribute the broom so I have one again. <laughs> yeah. I'm just shocked that without my armor, I was still able to do anything. I assumed I'd just be a, some nature of an infant. I don't wear armor, and I'm doing fine. Lying there crying. I had to resort to spellcasting because I didn't have any of my equipment. <laughs> That's basically how this went. <laughs> That's what spells are useful for. Sometimes you don't have your equipment. You just need spells. Yes. So it so could just happen. Do, do we think that if we just keep going down the mountain, eventually we'll transfer over? That's as best as Cannon's got for us, and hmm. I've never been here, so I don't know. Ludigar, any uh, input on what you think might happen? I think we just died. I don't feel dead. I've been dead before. More than once. <laughs> you too? Yeah. <laughs> kind of gave him my running here. <laughs> uh, he says that. Cast detect magic on myself. Because we do know. Yeah, no, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. You no longer are magical. Huh. <laughs> that's a I, good I, question. I, 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 I spend an finish checking equipment. I go to the shrine and start praying. Yeah. I uh, spend an hour talking to Sword to ask, "Are we dead?" <laughs> and stuck in hell. But mostly, are we dead? And that's what. You've not entered my domain yet. No. That wasn't a riddle. Yeah. That wasn't that, a question either. My, my death goddess sword lady says we're not dead yet. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> See, it's beyond the crushing deaths. The deaths had to crush us first. That's <laughs> <laughs> 100% it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I got Eric's soul out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, for now. Wait, let me legal my way out of this with you know, wishes and or other magical well, I mean, the usual guarantee is to either invalidate that soul or just sell it again to somebody else and let them fight over it. The Constantine defense. <laughs> just multi-book their, your soul hard enough to where, come on, who actually wants this and is willing to fight for it? Come one, come all, the famed soul of Eric Rasprada, adventurer. It's going for auction. Prices are guaranteed to be monumentous. <laughs> so, and then of course I don't show up when you buy, because so, I'm busy. Uh, yeah, so... Now, Force Bottle has that, Force Kate 
wall has to be attached to the surface. You can't just form a ball and hamster roll your way down. I could. No. Oh. I could. I couldn't take anybody unless you were all pocket dimensioned, but I could do it. Um, I go ahead and uh, grab Kellett and spend some time in the forge. We're going to be uh, sharpening up the great axe for my frost giant and building it some new armor. If we leveled up, that would be a lot easier. Why is that? Because my uh, forge domain channel divinity is I sit there for an hour and with uh, all the raw materials and I can create a entire piece of non-magical gear. As long as it's under 100 golden value. 100 well, gold or less. Well, that's definitely not full thing. But then again, what's the uh, proficiencies of a frost giant? Proficiencies of frost giant? They weren't wearing right. armor before. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Light? Patchwork. Patchwork. Yeah. It's actually not on the list. It's the armor they're proficient with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what makes sense? Mm -hmm. But if you want something to look fancier. Yeah. Because much like the T-Rex, no matter what you do, you're not changing the staff lock. <laughs> But that was actually the whole point of taking the smithing tools proficiency, is to build equipment for minions that I have. Whatever, I can give them a plus two, I think. Give me a plus two? No, no, the, uh, the, uh, frost giant. I think I could give them, like, a 17 armor class armor. Mm. I think that's, like, ring mail or something. Equivalent. So yeah, I help Brian making equipment and sharpening things and okay. sharpen my own up. Mm -hmm. Sorting? No, no, no. Uh, I have no pressure to put on, on you guys. You, you guys have to tell me when you leave. Yeah. You're, you're, in, you're in an environment where you have control, so I... <laughs> we just stay here for a Yeah, so build that and then we can have a good night Let's rest after eating. So do you want the eat. armor or the magic or uh, the armor or the weapon magic every day? Oh, weapon definitely. Mm. Yeah. Have have the uh, great axe be magical, that's much more useful I think. Well he definitely makes a strength requirement for armor. Yes. Uh, splint mail is 17, chain mail is 16. However, I would have to multiply the weight by times 4 because he's a huge creature. Is the weight important? Uh, for how much iron that I have to take out of crafting of new armor, it does. Mm. Because I have a certain amount of pounds of iron that I've collected. The best part is, is that if I don't have a raw material, I can use coinage. Yes. It says as long as I have coinage, I can use I can use coinage. To <laughs> <press the laughs> I time. have a magical <laughs> purchase option. Yeah, but the sad thing is, it's only up to a hundred, so you can't do full player stuff like that. Yeah, but that's still most of the equipment that can be made. I can also duplicate keys. Any non-magical? Oh, I can make tool sets. Any tool set. Well, I've got enough iron to afford full plate, but, uh... Hey, what's at 100 gold, if you want? Huh? Oh. No, well, we can just make full well, yeah, plate. We, oh. we have smithing tool proficient. We, we can make armor. Well, yeah, but wouldn't that take weeks? Probably. But I can fabricate it all tomorrow, so... Oh, okay. But we can work on it tonight. Everything laid out. <laughs> yes. Okay, so yeah, we'll hang out, go to sleep tomorrow, fabricate. Uh, uh, fabricate and raise. Uh, get some ropes tied between the brooms to make sort of a hammock. Or For what? Because we can't all fit on the brooms. So yeah. we have to distribute the weight between the three brooms to, you know, okay. glide down. So two people, two people, two people, one person? 
You have just uh, we have four brooms, correct? No, we have three. Ah, uh, three brooms and then your shoes. Yeah, can't use those. They only have four hour, four hours of flight. And you're a chunky boy. Uh, why don't I just use a toboggan? Toboggan. Yes, get a sled. Big sled. Made of wood. Well, Eric we don't have walk. a ton of wood. Eric can walk. We do have a ton of wood. No, we don't have a ton of wood. We have a, a set amount of wood. Yeah, make a toboggan. It'll break. If we put cannon on it's the It's not a boat. Would that count as a boat? It's not a no, boat. No, no. What if we call it a boat? No, no, even if we put Cannon on my boat, I think the damage would outpace her and destroy the magical boat. Uh, it would keep it from sinking, but that's not your concern Cal- right here. Wait, yeah, it, it's uh, Kaladin who is the uh, big chunky guy. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. Yeah, we could just, just polymorph you. It just slows it. It doesn't stop it, does No, it? at past 400, it doesn't fly. Past 400? Mm-hmm. Oh, I haven't been able to fly on it at all. I'm 340. You chunky, chunky man. Oh, wait, no. I don't think, uh... How much does full plate weigh? A lot. 65 pounds for me. Yeah, person. I can't fly on it at all. Cedar. Man. He, he's too chunky to actually use a run, so the rest of us can fit. So he can just walk. So... Kaladin's weight is uh, the. Uh, we'll, we'll just explain this away in our adventures. You love those slugs so much, you've put on weight. I haven't. <laughs> well, then you retroactively invalidated the broom versus, oh, you put on some weight and can't use it no more. Yeah, I retroactively invalidated the broom. Okay, then. <laughs> He's a cheater, and he's fine with that. Okay. I did not know that that was the rules of the of flying, because I didn't write down the rules of the of flying. Yeah. He's a recharge. So. Yeah. Unless you feel like stopping after four hours to wait 24 hours for my shoes to refill. I think his comment was, you did have spider climb, right? Well, I have spider climb, but I have to cast it. So that would be four hours spider climb. And then I can just make you a flying animal. We can get you one hour time. Mm -hmm. I'm just don't want to use up all of my spells. Giant giant eagle has a eighty foot speed. Yeah, there you go, giant eagle. Boom. Yeah, but you'd probably be flying along with the rest of us, which our speed's less than 80 feet. Yeah. And polymorph, what, that's what, an hour? Yep. Yeah. It's an hour. So him being faster doesn't really change anything. I don't know, is it large? Can we ride him? Uh, yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, it's a large creature, so you could theoretically ride him. Yeah. Especially the little ones. Yes. He's just an Archie. <laughs> yeah. We'll put someone with claws, someone with his beak, someone riding on top of him. Claws and on top of him are. Archie totally has a beak pickup move. <laughs> who? Who? The Archie. I don't team. really want the answer of who. I'm just going <laughs> to point out that you're being stupid. <laughs> ah, you get who. <laughs> So we're flying down the mountain through shenanigans. One way or the other. Okay, so some of you are flying... Who are you carrying? And how long do you have him as an eagle? Because I feel like it's an hour. Yeah, an hour, and he has his boots for four hours. So are you starting with him as an eagle? What are you doing right now? No, no. Start with the boots. No, I'll put him into eagle, take his, bo- take his boots off first, have him be an eagle so they're recharging. Well, he's eagling. They have to be in sunlight. It's sunny here. Is it? Um, no, it's just pretty pretty well overcast, but it's enough to go mm-hmm. I would like to point out, it, it was light, that there, not sunlight. And it was enough that the, the light that you guys had around you in the Underdark was charging him. I didn't use them in the Underdark. No, they're still recharging them. Yeah. I think I used them for like one or two trips and we were indoors at one point in the mansion. 
Yeah. But yeah, no, the, the actual light from around, from around here is enough to recharge them, yes. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't have to be sunlight, it has to just be light. And because and it any amount of light well, is light. <laughs> and also, isn't the object without your extras just, it takes time? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, how, how does your sh- uh, sharpening thing work? Uh, you, you get five. Your first five attacks have advantage. Okay. You can't choose not to use it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Unless you miss. No. But then you didn't hit nothing. Doesn't matter. That wind ripping past that sword is dull. You, it. You, when you miss, mm-hmm. you still hit something. What if you miss really bad? <laughs> <laughs> I fell, and I ended up flying because I, I just missed the ground. Like double, really cr- double crit miss. Yeah, you just whiffed. <laughs> just went shooting off into space. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you're starting with on your boots, and you're flying around. Um, I guess bef- before really getting too much of an assessment of what's around... Do you have a goal or direction? Can yeah. I skate down the uh, slope just using my boots to stabilize myself without damaging me or the boots? It would not extend the time of the boots, but if you just need to look cool. <laughs> so me not using... I guess every usage is at least a minute. Yeah. is a minimum of a minute. So I would have to go over a minute of skating without falling. Which, I'm an athletic guy. I feel like I might be able to. Is it athletics or acrobatics? It would be acrobatics. I get plus seven to that. I'd be willing to give it a shot. See if I extend it. <laughs> if I roll really well, really well, can I extend it? Roll all the side. Alright. One? Do you want me to do one at a time? Yeah, just make one more. I rolled a two. So that's a no can do there. <laughs> Let's see. Um... So just heading down. Because um, after we're sitting there floating, looking around, do we see anything in any direction? Yeah. Up, down, or sideways? Yeah, as you start making your way and, and sort of getting an assessment, um, you can see that there is some sort of something structurally off at an angle and further down a little bit of a ways. Um, massive, but... Uh, from this thing, it was hard to kind of tell, but some sort of structure that's enough of it. We fly towards that thing because it's a thing. <laughs> yes. You also see in various different areas small dark pockets, like cavernous yes. enterings on the side of this so base. Can and tell us um, what we're looking for. We're just going down. Uh, our comment was that the two no. reaction had just happened, just moved to the next layer. It's like, there was a city, there are caves, I don't know if they go places, and you just end up going to the next layer eventually. Yeah, just keep going down. Um, And you also see uh, a point off to the the other side, um, where it seems something has dislodged some of the rock, and there's just sort of an avalanche of rock just off in the distance, just rolling across this so after each of you can polymorph me once? Oh, I can do it a whole bunch. If well, you, you got four hours on your boots. So, so. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how long it is. And the problem with doing the boots first, Nick, is that if we have combat, I can't do combat, because I'm a freaking eagle. Do you eagles have stats? Yeah. You could fight as an eagle, and then you have extra hit points yeah. to, before you even get to your hit points. Imagine they kill you, you fall on them, extra damage. And you have spider climb, <laughs> which I have to cast. Yeah, that's a turn. Yeah, so I spent a turn falling. You should have gotten boots like me. I have boots. Better boots. Boots of spider climb. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy shoes of spider climb, in fact. Okay, so down city or random caves? City. Neither, just down. So, one for down. Two for down. He said down. Yeah, okay. Is that what you said was down? He yeah, said to the city. That's down. No, city, city, down meaning not going to any structure, just keep going down the slope. <laughs> was what his vote was. Your vote was city. Yes. But seeing how I'm an eagle. No, this oh. is when we're first walking yeah, out. We'll we have the door way. open. We're looking around. No, you're you're probably about. 45 minutes in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Before we see anything. Yeah, as you're getting an assessment for what's going on. 
city down a cave? Yeah. Yeah, there are various caves. Well, not cave, because the only thing we can find in caves is stuff that we don't need, which is money. Or equipment. What? You can always use more money. Uh, you no. can't even fit more money. I don't know. The, do, you, is, do, you, do you speak that to your rock or yeah. god? Um, Cannon will point out, well, I don't see where the river is here. It could be in there. I'd say the, the cave might hold old hermits that know how to uh, traverse the paths of the falling cliffs. Maybe we should look for them. Or we could go to the city and ask questions of the people in the city. Uh, they're probably dicks, though. Yeah, the hermits <laughs> are the nice guys. This <laughs> is hell. Yeah, we'll find a hermit. No, no. Let's fly towards the city and look in a couple caves, see if there's old hermits or the river. Okay. As we just peek in. Okay. So you're trying to find a cave on the way to the city? Yes. Okay. Um, someone, uh, luck check? I got a 13. I love that, that, that they don't have you make the luck checks when I just tell the group to I mean, I've you. got the high stat. I know. <laughs> they, were just, they were just quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm not excited about anything we're doing here. <laughs> I thought the Underdark is bad. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we're not even at the bottom yet. Welcome to hell. Um, but yeah, so you sing in a cave, it kind of winds off and turns to the left. Like, go one turn in, look. This is just more turns. It's yeah, lines up and goes beyond your vision. Yeah, it seems cave like, but I don't see the river in here. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking, Jim. <laughs> I walked 25 feet. <laughs> uh, hey, I put in an honest effort. I took a turn. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to have to explore this now that you did that. <laughs> Fine. Just throw an arcane eye out. Nah, no, I, I didn't prepare that. I got to cast fabricate today. <laughs> okay, fine. Have a frost giant explore them. <laughs> go for the zombie frost giant. Right. It's like, how far do we want to go? Because they're much like the Underdark, it's a cave. It could go on forever. That's why I decided. A minimum amount of one turn was all I was checking. <laughs> so how many minutes were we flying for? Uh, 47. That's why I suggested the city. You could ask somebody where the sticks is. Yeah, but people keep wanting stuff from us whenever we ask them. Or tricking us into becoming criminals. Well, it's a seller's market. Or betraying us to hordes of demons. Or devils. Yeah, devils. I haven't fallen for any of that. You were totally fell prey to the hordes of devils. Yeah, but they all would have died against my shield. Uh, I have the uh, equivalent of an arcane eye I could send out. Doesn't Paul only have like 30 feet? No. Oh, well, yeah, there's him, but I was <laughs> not, not thinking of that. I could summon an elemental. Mm. That's what I could do. Uh, and just hope for the earth one. <laughs> No, I'd probably summon an air elemental if they're faster. Yeah. Well, I thought you would go with Urs and hope you got, what, a Zorn? Zorn. Zorn. Mm -hmm. I, isn't that like to find gems or something? Or? Yeah, that, that's what I wanted it for. Yeah, yeah that's not necessarily this situation. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, if you summoned a water one, could it tell us which way is water? Mm, maybe. Maybe it would have some sort of affinity for finding water. I don't know. Don't you have locate object? Can you locate river? I don't have that prepared. Why would I prepare to locate object today? Again, yeah, that always feels like something that should be a ritual, but it's not. Because yep. it would be too useful. Yeah, locate object's a concentration spell that's not a ritual. Mm -hmm. That I use for finding precious ores inside walls. Or Zerns, or zombies, or all this other stuff. Yeah. I'm not a dwarf, I swear I'm a gnome. I am a gnome. He's a dwarf. Yeah, I don't see that you actually even get to choose the type. Uh, I cast it on the area that I want to summon the elemental from, so I cast it on dirt for earth and cast it on air for air, or water for water. 
for fire, 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 I'll smoke. Do you smoke, Father? Yeah, you, smoke? you basically have to cast it on the thing that you're wanting to summon the elemental for. Now I'm just thinking of beyond. I'm not seeing where you get that. <laughs> Burning incense for air, soft clay for earth, sulfur for... What spell for are you looking at? Conjure elemental. Okay, I'm at conjure minor elemental. Give me a second. <laughs> Yeah, it's a um, matter of the material component that you use. <laughs> okay, so that one has a material co- uh, component. Okay. Yes. So that one you do have control. <laughs> right. M- Miner's just, roll a dice! See what you get. <laughs> well, it's really neat. I choose. Yeah. Country elemental, I get to choose based off what material I use. But it just summons a type of elemental based off uh, which... Well, what slot are you wanting to cast it at, and what's your choices for that slot of air? Hmm? Oh, well, air, air is just fast and stuff, but maybe the water would be better if we could uh, use it to locate the river if it's anywhere around here. Well, that depends on if he's going straight off the monster. I don't think the monster has I love how we're having this humongous conversation about walking into a cave. Yes, we don't want to spin... Years in there wandering a cave. We're gonna well, say we to should go to the cave then, shall we? Maybe we should go to the city. I'm finding it funny as they're trying <laughs> to make decisions. Mm-hmm. Was there a reason we didn't want to go to the city? People are dicks. De- devils are dicks. They want stuff. If the river's already here, then we'll know. Or we can just go down. But we'd like to have a discussion and make an informed decision. I'm versus- sure that if you use the right words, they'll be perfectly agreeable. I don't know. Can, can you sense the river? That has never been one of her powers. <laughs> We've tried and asked her multiple times. <laughs> She didn't develop that power here. <laughs> How about this layer? You got the power we wanted you to have yet? Well, <laughs> I'll go fly to the city and see if they know. Okay, so you head out of the cave? Yes. Do we need to baptize you in the river? <laughs> but you do realize that's basically, do we need to sacrifice you to dad? <laughs> Would that make you suck less? Well, Eric's going. Do we want to split the party or do we all just fall Eric because he's made his choice? Split the party. Split the party multiple times. Yes, yeah, some of you can wait at the mouth of the cave. Some of you can go in. He can go up there. <laughs> Bob will just throw himself down the cliff. <laughs> yeah. Well, fine. We, we follow Eric because we've gone through this before. We can't change his mind. We just have to follow and hope for the best. I mean, I come back eventually. Yeah. Or you go to a different plane and end up in the hell. Yeah, or you succeed. I'd work my way around. Uh, yeah, we would be here for two literal <laughs> hell eternity. Yeah, you well, just you would come from the game until so they get Tasmodius and you're on the throne beside him. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, really cool guy. Well, you hear this thing we want? Have no. you heard about this guy's stories? <laughs> Asmodeus is basically a big kid who was denied, de- denied television for too long. He's just happy to hear a story. <laughs> All his vassals be like, oh, it's always Blood War this, Blood War that, yada, yada. <laughs> He's like, I have learned so many new people to, con- you know, to Eric inflict. Show- <laughs> Eric shows up and goes, hey, romantic comedy, ever heard of it? <laughs> As Moe's just sitting there crying, why couldn't she have gotten together with Mr. Darcy sooner? They suffered so much. Anyways, um, yeah. so you have the head start, um, and as as you make your way towards it, it and able to see it better, it's less of a massive city and more of a massive structure, a uh, crumbling citadel held up by buttresses. Um, over top what looks like this mess of cage that is like hanging below the the palace. I don't know, you think they're going to yell at us for knocking on their door without ringing the bell? Is there a bell? <laughs> I might you be able to see a bell. Can I knock on the door? Okay. Um, yeah, so you find sort of an entrance, entrance sort of a bridge on the side coming from the slope. 
Um, and as you approach the door, there are uh, devils astride it. No. Oh. Hell. Kind of looking up at you, glaring. Well, I land. Devils really hate flying. They can fly, a lot of them. I don't know what the big deal is. <laughs> no think, flying I, in I, hell. I think it's insulting because imps can do it. And so the bigger devils who can don't want to. Hmm. <laughs> I used to be able to fly. <laughs> Just a pit fiend marching defiantly. <laughs> I'll not do what those gun suckers do. Come on. It, Pit Fiend is just a direct upgrade from Imp. It is the next evolution stage. I think there's a lot of stuff in between. That's yeah. like Magic Tarp to Gyarados kind of crap right there. <laughs> I don't know. Imp Incubus Pit Fiend? I still think there's more steps in there. No, no, no. Evolution lines have three steps. <laughs> anyway, so exactly. you, as you approach, you see that their weird faces are masks. Almost infant like in shape. Yeah. And is this a new devil? Creepy baby face devils. Yeah. <laughs> just sort of like a metal baby face in sort of plate armor and you know, strips of cloth hanging down. Yeah. So that guy's George Nelson. His name is George Nelson, not the ways. I cast minor illusion to look at like Eric has an aura of golden confetti around him. Eric's a bit ahead of you. They, they see Eric before you get there. Yeah. Well, he he just shows up. <laughs> you're all paying catch up. <laughs> After you cast it. But why, though? <laughs> he's making an entrance. Yes. <laughs> As he's talking there, blue world, the confetti just explodes out of him. Yeah, it's like an aura of, like. Yes. I'm a veteran spawn. of the Blood War. Eric Radarasp. What? On my way down to the lower levels. I thought it was Russ Felder. It can be either one, whatever I feel like. <laughs> Watch me change my names and confuse the innocent. He's, he's changed it multiple times before. Damn it, Prince. Is he? It's at least the same words. He just. Yes. Yeah, you know, sometimes they're just different order. He's the adventurer formerly known as Respirato. <laughs> Didn't realize that was a metal name. <laughs> I thought that was all of your last name. Yeah. I have three names. Mm -hmm. It's better than having just two. Mm. And many titles. Like you know what? You really have to earn the story of where that extra one came from. Yes. <laughs> Sarah Michelle Gellar, Freddie Prince Jr. Ah, it's actually not that interesting of a story. A dragon gave it to me after I killed his dad. You jerk. <laughs> <laughs> but was it the rats or the Rauda? Well, there is some <laughs> contention about that. How's your contention? What was your name before? What was your name after? Do you even remember? Time shenanigans. <laughs> there, yeah, there was a time shenanigans. You see, <laughs> I remember it being raspy what I got. However, <laughs> there might have been a cosmic kerfuffle which resulted in a reset of reality somewhere in between. Was there an elephant involved? <laughs> no, no. There was a there, there was there, there was, was a series of children books involved about bears. Big elephant. The Baron Stein Bears? The you think it's Steam? Yes. <laughs> it's like, you remember that from your tempos, the Baron Steam Bears, but you were wrong. I don't. No, I, didn't my, was I wasn't yeah. wrong. That's <laughs> what it was. It's not I who was wrong, though. It's everyone else. That's the problem. Society <laughs> has all agreed on this. <laughs> It may have been a weird pronunciation for that association of letters. Did you lose which devil it is? Hmm? What? Did you lose which devil it is? Or are they just looking at you funnily and nothing's happening? Yes, they are looking at you funnily and making no sound. Ah. Might you point me into the direction of the river Styx? Might you point me to someone I can speak to? Looking in the door, looking down, and you rocks. Looking towards each other. May I enter? Next one's, do I have to kill you to enter? What? What? 
You're am I there you, so you walk up and say that? <laughs> am I well, there yet? No, no. Yeah, you're all. You're all. I, oh, I just. Uh, that is my next question. Then I, I'm now neutral evil. So do I have to kill you to get an entry? Is that the right thing? No. Well, that's. Uh, I just kind of. I start pantomiming back at them that we just need to find the river sticks. Is this a building? <laughs> See, they can't. They don't want to say yes. Oh, ah, okay. Do so I start flying by him. Do you ever tell lies? No. <laughs> 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 I can't process. Yeah. Fly on by. Strapped on past. Where are you flying to? Didn't the they open the door? To no, there is, a, there is a door. It's shut. It's two feet behind them. Oh, they were so I imagine you just flying into a big <laughs> chunk of wood. I'm like, what do, you, what do you mean you fly on by? Walk up. What are they standing on? I thought it was a, a draw bridge. No, it's not a draw bridge. No, it's it's a, bridge. a bridge. It's like a big chunk of stone with bits crumbling off of it. It's a causeway. Yeah. It leads to a big... And they're just on either side of an, a very large door. Oh, okay. Not at them. Walk up to the door Shady and knock. <laughs> knock on door between them. And the deep crimson pit fiend claws go around and pull the door open. I ask him if it is. What's the one pit fiend name we know? Oh. Zox Snacks? Yeah, Zox Snacks. Are you Zox Snacksel? No, he, he's a deserter from like no, a second layer. What are you, what are you talking about? Well, of course, no. Anyways, we're looking for the river sticks. Can you give us some directions? Well, I don't know. Really? I mean, I guess it goes through here. Yeah, um, probably in the mountain. In the mountain, so go through the caves, is what you're saying. I mean, if you're one to follow rules, I suppose caves would be easier than smashing your face into the mountain. Although the second might be a little more entertaining for the rest of us. Yeah, um, when he says it might be easier, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, smashing your face in the mountains is super easy. That would require more skill. Do you think it's any cave, or is there a specific one you know of? Well, I mean, I don't know of it. Why would I need to know of it? Well, how do you get down to the sixth or seventh layer? Well, I mean, unless I'm invited, I wouldn't really be going down. I have work to do. Ah, well, we have a meeting with Asmodeus, Asmodeus and we desperately need to get down. So, well, yeah. if he's aware of it, I'm sure he'll invite you when the time comes. Well, thank you for your time. It's like I guess we go back to the caves. What kind of work do you do? Legal work, like you know, laws like, and contracts and such. If only someone had burnt their contract. <laughs> what, when I say somebody is coerced into saying something that they didn't mean, how do lies apply in the legal trade? Um, what do you mean? Uh, they're, they're very helpful. They're very useful. Well, a guy said that I had to promise to come back. I said, when I got around to it... You uh, you might want to be careful. He might have decided when you'd get around to it. Well, that's you what he said. Yeah. yeah. Well, so if he's made that decision and you've agreed to it, will you? I mean, well, he didn't tell me. Uh, well, then he doesn't necessarily. Did you ask? No. Mm, should have asked. I mean, if you've got the contract, we can look through, see if maybe he's left any holes. Well, no, I, I didn't get a copy. Oh. Yeah. Well, you could always request that from him, of course. Uh, yeah, so you'd know what you've signed to if you want to look at it in advance. I have one. I just need... Could you help me with the definition of a month? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, pull out my double contract. Didn't you have to leave it it's, somewhere? No, no I, I have mine. I didn't burn it. It's on my sheet and everything. You, um... You see, a month is based on the rotation of the moon. Yes, but I did specify a material month. Right. Well, a moon might be a physical material object, and, uh, that... that. Yep, right here. Hm. So, that would be one month... One moon cycle. Of the... Uh, on the material plane? 
Um, what planet? Nope, looks like you all are uh, going to be in Avernus. How many moons uh-huh. are there in Avernus? Uh, four. Do, do they actually cycle? Uh, sometimes, some of them. What's Avernus? Have we been That's the first or? layer. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> the layer you promised yourself to. Yeah. Now, that is a very tough place. I mean, there's lots of fighting there. Um, oh, yes, we're all we're all sorry veterans. Very good, very good. Well, done your time. Uh, you know, we might be able to work into uh, a loophole, like a chadrid. Cost you your soul, though. Well, see, that, that, that's... I mean, I'm just saying, it's a much nicer place here. I mean, really, where do you want to be? I point out. He sort of steps aside... We have couches. I, I they have no couches there. He's like, where would you want to be? I that was not true. I, I tell him about the high, the uh, way stations. They totally have couches and pews in there. Well, these have much more cushion. Hmm. Well, those way. are pews. <laughs> What's funnier is when I outlived them all, so I'm going to be getting a lot of notes about how, yeah, you know how you've uh, leveled up Cleric a lot more? I need you to go ahead and resurrect some people. Uh, ask, do wishes or miracles count as souls? Can you trade one of those in for? Well, they don't count as souls, no. Although, you know, souls count as souls. Oh. Can, can you just get someone else's soul and use it to fill your place? Now you're asking legal questions. Perhaps we should step in and sign an agreement. Well, see, again, that, that would cost me my soul. <laughs> ah, yes. He, he well, goes, then or someone else's. Then you'd only go two souls. Yeah, see, that that just gets me to a soul hole. <laughs> I have to work my way out of. <laughs> with, with, with other people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting through a very pyramid scheme like thing. Is that how hell runs a pyramid scheme? Wow. You sell your soul once accidentally, so you have to bring in two souls to get your soul back, but we you have to promise them something, and that costs you a soul. <laughs> we do know a place where they'll throw away hundreds of dwarven souls for free and not care. I, I believe they had a care. They they were just tricked by brain munchers. Found an and Eric. Mark. Yes. <laughs> and Eric. Yes. I did not trick them. I they inspired. were already going, whether he inspired them or not. I improved their chances. That's not how that happens. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, that's what the history books will say when he writes them. <laughs> yes, definitely. Well, uh, thank you for your time. We'll go to sort of caves and see if we can't meet with us. Modis. But thank you. Um, no. No? We can't explore the caves, or we're not meeting Asmodeus? Uh, pr- probably not either. Um, hmm. I'll take this crab's broom. Do you let him walk away with your broom? I, I, I far step away. <laughs> he has your broom. Wait. We, we both have my broom. Who gets. I was in possession of my broom. So is he. He's trying to physically take it from you. Do you let him? This is a yes or no question, Nick. Uh, I ask you not to do that, sir. But, but you took my time. You must pay for it. And oh. you don't seem to want to give up another one of your souls. Oh, in that case, I can pay for it. I just don't want to give up my broom. Here, have this happy magical shield. As a smiley. It's too happy. Make a sad face. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a sad face shield. Turning around and shutting the door. <laughs> Guys! Look what I found! <laughs> so we're off to the case. What a nice I'm man. really <laughs> loving my pit fiends over time. <laughs> what a nice <laughs> man. Your pit fiends are weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving them though. I'm not. I'm not so sure it's true to canon, but I enjoy them as characters. <laughs> They're relatively nice guys, but still kind of dickish. Yeah, I love you. Here, let me stab through your leg. <laughs> You're <know>, friends. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm remembering all these torturous events. 
Because I'm running a campaign with you as a player. And Remember, worry. this is story stuff to him. He was like, you're f picking on me for reasons. Why is hell hard to get through? <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't like this. All right. I don't like that my character on like turn. I'm enjoying this immensely. My character is like super displeased with this whole turn of events. Kind of the best part about this character is how unhappy he is right now. <laughs> well, he so. shouldn't be unhappy. He's, He's in hell. <laughs> I mean, so far. But the hell so the part that's displeasing him. It's just taking forever. Yeah. So, so far, besides the ice layer and the fire layer, hell hasn't been that bad. Yeah. <laughs> So initial assessment was correct. Yes. Go into the caves. Mm -hmm. So we go into the caves and summon an air elemental. Water elemental. Water, water elemental. Because we're looking for water. Yeah, again, I don't think you have any ability to yeah. find water. I figure that it has some sort of mystical connection to water, so it might be... No, no, stat block doesn't apply. Mm -hmm. No, well, I'm, I'm in a non-stat block. That's the water elemental that knows where water is. Okay, so do you first find a cave, I'm guessing? Yeah, we'll go back to the cave. Do you specifically go back to the one you found before? Uh, or whatever one's closest? If we can find that one. Yes. Unless we have better information to go off of. Oh, like um, I mean, you remember where that one is, but you can also see other little dark spots. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'm going to start looking at the cliff side. I'm going to try to make a knowledge nature check to see if any of it would give me an indication as to where the likelihood of water might possibly be in this realm. Knowledge, um, we'll go with religion. Religion? Okay. There is nothing nature based on about this. Okay. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen? Um, you've no real concept for where it is. You've definitely a general idea a lot of these caves are going to interconnect. Um, Oh no, it's a hell underdark. It's like the underdark, but in hell. Well, yeah, that's the next three months of this game, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a whole new bath started. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> it's because I made it up. <laughs> it's not true. Well, we're at least more familiar with the cave environment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just wee business. <laughs> Like you, you've been in you, here for like six, yeah. seven months. Yeah, you spent months in it. I'm just, just saying, years of dealing with mountains makes mountains more familiar than cave. Hmm. But you're more familiar with it than not familiar with well, it. Well, it's a cave mountain, so it's a combination of your experience. I'm more familiar with it than not familiar with it, meaning that I've experienced it at least once. Exactly! <laughs> Nick, sometimes <laughs> the best thing about you is one day you'll die. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> that's so mean. Yeah, that was real mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right. <laughs> I enjoy you being around, and I'll miss you when you're gone. Uh, yeah. like uh, awful pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Deliberately <laughs> awful assuming there. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I'll make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I just don't plan on doing it. <laughs> yeah, help me, I'm having a heart attack. Die, Nick. <laughs> it's like, I'm circling the drain. If you could do me a, a big favor, just uh, stop me now. <laughs> just make sure you go before me. <laughs> I'll miss you more and better that way. <laughs> it's really hard to miss you when you're not gone. <laughs> I'm not an Egyptian pharaoh. <laughs> yes. The best circle of friends, the Egyptian circle of friends. Ah, our cool friend died. I guess we all have to go live in his, you know, sarcophagus and die now. <laughs> Buried with his household. <laughs> Not all of his household. I mean, his just family survived. <laughs> just they just had to hire new staff, so that must be a nightmare. <laughs> The worst part isn't the dying. The worst part is the rehiring and training of staff. All of them gone at the same time, no trainers. Ugh. It's a nightmare. Yet at the same point, it helps with loyalty of the new ones. Mm -hmm. you know. I wish Nikari was so... Yeah, they never have to say, you know, oh, seconds. the previous Pharaoh was so much better. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> oh, you like him so much? You know where his cave is. <laughs> <laughs> so we go back to that cave the Pharaoh lives in. Same cave as before then? Yes. yes. Well, okay. Pharaoh Steve is, built, is buried there. There are no Pharaohs. But you, 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 you literally don't know what a pharaoh is. Mm. Mm. 
gonna make you build that into your multi-use world, pharaohs. An entire Egyptian subculture. Okay, that's fine in that world. <laughs> not, I know what pharaohs are. They're an elite priest caste that was uh, cast down for being too decadent. So you cast a water elemental? Yeah, and then I'm going to ask the water elemental to see if it can find out where the water is that we're looking for. Looks outside. Goes further through the caverns. How, how far does it go before you lose contact with it? Well, I just follow it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just follow it. How long does it last? Oh, how long does Tundra Elemental last? Like a minute or something. Mm -hmm. No. No? Because it's just wandering. It has an hour. No. It has no... No, it's got no... No it's special no connection to find water. Can it help us find the sticks? I mean, it can look. I ask. It's walking, so it's trying. <laughs> yeah, help us find the water sticks. Oh, you probably know. Aquin. I can speak to elementals. Yeah, you know. It's like, wait a minute, you actually know. Aquin. I actually know uh, primordial. Yeah. How would I? Go ahead and float. Well, that's all we can ask. Yeah, go ahead and float through the cracks of the mountain and try to find the water for us and come back. It doesn't know where the river is, but it's going to look. Okay. It starts splashing around. <laughs> I found a rubber ducky. It's lots of fun. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah, we just keep walking in the cave. Has there been any, bran any branching paths yet? A couple. Mm -hmm. Try to go down. Yeah. Deeper into the darks and depths. Mm -hmm. Find yourself at a dead end. Womp wow. Try again. Another dead end. Keep trying. We continue to try until we run out of uh, places to go. You run out of places to go in this cave. Oh, we chose a bad cave. You do find another exit. Well, we go out that one and look for another cave, guys. Uh, before we do that, get on top of this cave entrance. Take the sword and make a giant axe on it. Just carve it into the wall so we know not to come back into this cave. I'm just deciding what happens in the future when these are discovered. <laughs> <laughs> no! Look at these strange symbols. What do they mean? Arcade monkey. One of them is a check mark circled. Ah, this is the right cave. <laughs> Believe this. Just till Zone Eric was here. Yeah. <laughs> Enhance ability luck. Eric, pick an uh, inspiration. Pick us cave. Can we give him guidance too? Yeah, yeah I don't see yeah, luck. That's an ability check. So yeah. Ah, yeah, guidance. So also a d6 and a d4. And that was advantage. Yes. Well, you don't beat seventeen. Uh, plus six. 23 27 you find that you, one that one looks like it's like small like it would be difficult to get into therefore fewer people have probably explored that one well there's where we're going mm -hmm. I tell you that's probably where the river is <laughs> what you kind of have to crawl into to get started on <laughs> speaking of which what does the compass say it uh, doesn't work here. It, it does. It would work here. It's tied to a location on the material plane near the elephant still because I haven't been there yet. <laughs> He's so angry about that too. I don't. Well, we it. would never get out of hell if the thing I was resetting. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Trust me, I thought about it. It's like, oh no, we can't leave yet. Why? <laughs> <laughs> we got places to go here. <laughs> I'm being considerate, and acknowledging mm. that all of hell is new, and I can come back and compass it later. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to be rid of the rest of you. Most of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hey, I love that, that he probably says that, you know, his plans, wait, you know, late at night, some evening, and you're know, like, do I really want to stick with this guy? <laughs> well, that's the point. These guys need a beginner level adventure, and that's what this is. We're level like this, this is a nice entry level adventure to get you guys primed and ready for big adventures. 
And eventually, you let your level reset, and then you go at some cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> got, got, a, got a prestige again. Mm-hmm. Maybe next time I'll be a bard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. You don't need one. <laughs> Just don't dip into Warlock. It's not worth the risk. <laughs> They get you and they suck you back in again. <laughs> Who would have thought selling my soul to a you know cosmic power would make me have to be beholden to them? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <sighs> so yes, we use that cake. Let's see one, let's see that one. Make a luck check. You still have advantage. Do I still have advantage yeah. on enhance ability? It lasts an hour. No, it's it's been a few hours. So good. Twenty two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Water element was coming. Yeah. I didn't imagine the water element was able to make the journey of wow. you guys flying to the next <laughs> cave. Mm-hmm. Thank <laughs> it for its service. It's still over there searching for a while. Eventually you're like we've <laughs> If it finds it, we can't get to it. <laughs> comes back, guys. Okay, that's a direction. He comes back, guys. Guys. Uh, eight. Okay, I had two good rolls. You had to go for three. Yep. That end. Circle back to one of the other, or <laughs> it is this entire small cavern a dead end? Well, it's only small in the entrance. Oh, okay. But is the entire thing a dead end or just this particular path? You've found so far. If uh, one of the other of you would like to try a luck check. Like, seven. I'm I'm going to give myself guidance. Uh, 21. So your usual guider, the person that guides you through all the caverns, is at a certain point able to point out some water's dripping from here. Let's circle up (laughs) towards here and you find it. Hmm. The river sticks? You find it, well, yeah. Pretty discernibly. uh, You find it before you even hear, you can sort of see the glow before you hear Uh, the water. So this is normal sticks water? Yes. Those angry souls and stuff. (laughs) Well, I was correct. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely this hole. Now, the question <laughs> is, do we want to fly back out and mark the entrance? Well, why? Helpful for the next people? But, then again, they can go on their own adventure. Yeah. Like, come on, man, don't travel ace too hard. Ooh. I write it down in my book, just in case. As best as I can... Figure out how to map. If nothing else, <laughs> describe it based on that one that has the X over it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one over there. Here's like the little city thing we found with the or the, the broken temple. Yeah, the or broken, broken tower. Broken tower with the sun so mask. So does think she can get us down from here? Yeah. Flop out boat. <laughs> then we go downstream. Yeah. On the road again. And you do see, as you go, a small little campfire off to the side as you're going down after passing by an um, unknown cavern. Hell. <laughs> Just wave as we pass by. <laughs> well, I gotta go visit. <laughs> oh no, we, we, you're we not in charge of the boat. Yeah. I have a broom. Let's come and go. Yeah. No, Eric. We can talk to people in the next layer. We're almost done with this one. Remember we met the nice pit fiend? Well, yeah. I mean, think how nice these guys will be. No, we can talk to people next time. Distract them with a story, quick. <laughs> be careful. Karen doesn't like those. <laughs> no, no, I pull you off to the side, start asking you quiz questions on stories you've done to make sure I don't have any errors in the book I'm writing. Well, I know you're playing me. <laughs> oh yeah, we both know I'm playing you, but can you not do it? He's like, I, I see what you're doing, 
I see what you're doing. I appreciate it. And this is what happened. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I'm not happy about this. However, that was a really good question. So, what I, I understand did. where your confusion was, and I'm happy to clarify. <laughs> so, you stick aboard the boat. I was not able to entice you elsewhere. <laughs> It's just Eric. You just throw a line at the water. Let's see if we can catch it, Eric. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him, but he's gone. <laughs> Look at my flowers. I'm catching every cat. Just like you. <laughs> yeah, me and Ryan are the only ones who are able to resist the glitter, glitter, gleam, gleam of plot hooks. Mine were built in. <laughs> ah, please. Your uncle's one kidnapping away from getting you into another adventure. And he better not get kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to point out, kidnapping him kidnaps all of Ryan's village at the same point. Yeah, bam. That's, that literally yeah, that gets, gets you both. both. Gets you both. Mm. Well, we can give up on him. <laughs> I don't know, spend enough time in hell just, ah, eh, now you're all evil now. I'm fine. That's a, that's a really good point. Yeah, it's just been a while. Has it? Yeah. yeah. Not really. It's been like two days. No, it's been like a week. <laughs> and if I were doing them at the normal rate, it would be daily. Do mm, we just hide you from just hide, Yeah, you hide outside of it a lot. So, um, wisdom saves. Can I give us a guidance on that? Three! So, a... I roll a natural die. I've got 22. 10. 22. So you have five. Mm -hmm. So your alignment takes a step towards lawful evil. You mean I'm lawful evil? Sure. <laughs> Marketing your little remember and keep it separate from your default. But yep. True neutral to neutral evil to lawful evil. That was the bullet there. We don't need a chaotic evil blast sorcerer running around. All of a sudden, the checks are becoming a lot more frequent. <laughs> I don't know if I'd let you do that. I might make it be the other one. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's one step closer. Yeah, but just one with... One with... step closer. But they're not going to turn you into a demon. Yes, but I am much more likely to become evil than I am to become less chaotic. No, no. Like, if they held him here long enough, they would get to lawful evil. Well, yeah, now we're going to go through... Sort of down and then left. Yeah, they're going to go through chaotic and neutral first. Well, neutral, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so we're staying on the yeah, sticks. See, they went down the sticks. Um, and she's able to choose as there's a various fork. Yeah, um, and very much rough, almost rapid like areas. Mm -hmm. Until another one of those drops. Barriers less secured than. Mm -hmm. On the level above, um, find yourself pouring down into a bit of an aqueduct system. Uh, although, immediately looking at your uh, advancement, you can tell it's broken and will tumble down ahead. Um, around you, the ruins, the wasteland of what was once some grand city. Just broken roads and, you know, crumbling streets, destroyed buildings, you know, crumbled fortresses, as far off as you can see in any direction. Does the aqueduct have sides? Yes. Yeah, scoot the boat over to that. Or is it, like, really thin, or wide enough to stand on? I mean, the sides are... So yeah, we we get off the boat and start looking around, and while well, we're standing okay. up here, <laughs> we're not we're not getting to that. Well, yeah, well, this is obviously you, you the could, next time. You you could do that. Mm -hmm. but yeah, but you you find yourself in crumbling massive stuff. city. Welcome to Maladomini. Maladomini. Mm -hmm. I know that word. That's me. It's like me. And uh, another 6,000 experience for y'all. Mm -hmm. And join us next time for Maladomini.